This is part three of a trilogy of videos. If you haven't watched the first video on how to make a CD jacket slash digipack or the second video on how to make a booklet, I'll recommend you to watch that one first before watching this one. Click on screen to watch said videos. Hello guys, I'm Jorge and this is our craft terrain training. And if you're new here, welcome. Let's get right into business. Start by going to the folder called CD Jacket Digipack that we downloaded in part one of this video. Open the folder called Templates. There, you should have a file called 3CD Label. Open it on Photoshop. You'll see that the file has a guideline down and across the middle. It is very important that we leave it there. We will use it, but it will not appear once we printed the sign. The parts that are black are negatives we will not use at the end. So design within the white part of the template, making sure to not have anything important on the black middle circle. Once you have designed it all, we're going to cut the excess. We're going to select the rectangular marquee tool. We're going to press command on MacBook or control on Windows and select the layer called Ellipse 2. Once it's select on the image, we're going to select our design layer and then left click in the middle of the image like so and click layer via copy. Once you did this, we can get rid of the original layer. We're going to repeat the same thing with the middle circle but instead of clicking layer via copy, we'll do layer via cut and we delete that layer. After this, we can save the image. I recommend you to save the image with the negative parts so that it can be a guideline when cutting. Save the image as a high resolution PNG. If your main image is black, you can change the color of the negatives to avoid confusion. Once you have exported the file, we're going to open Microsoft Word. Import the image to Word. After that, we're going to size the image 12 centimeters height and 12 centimeters width. Double click the image and click on wrap text and click in front of text. Once you have this, you'll print it out. You can fit up to two CD labels in one page. Once you print them, these ones are pretty easy. I will show you two ways on how to make them. One, I'll just simply cut it out using my scissors and my X-Acto knife, cutting the negatives. The second one, before cutting, you can cover it with some contact paper to avoid the ink from fading over time. However, if you're using a laser print, this is not completely necessary. Remember to cut inside the negatives since that was just a guideline. Also, take your time cutting the middle of the image. Once both labels are cut out, the way to glue the label to the CD is pretty much the same. What I do is I cover the back with my glue stick and then I position it in place on the CD, smoothing out any lumps and bobs. I've done this in the past and the labels have not come off once. I also used to use spray adhesive and that worked pretty well. I will just not recommend you to use liquid glue. And just like that, you have your CD labels without the need for sticker paper. Now we can put our three pieces together. And that's it for this video, guys. However, this week's we don't get one or two, but three videos. If you haven't watched the previous two videos in which I'll show you how to make a CD jacket slash CD pack or a CD booklet, I'll leave you the links at the end of this video as well as in the description. However, if you only wanted to learn how to make a CD label without using sticker paper, you have come to the end of the project. And that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you like it. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you are, thank you so much. You can follow me on my social media, Twitter and Instagram at Crafter Training. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, yeah, yeah, guys. Click on the top to watch the tutorial on how to design and create a CD jacket slash digipack. Click on the bottom to watch the tutorial on how to design and create a CD booklet.